Hello, my brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Viscount uh, Sir Gregor Hawk here. I live in Ortha. And I decided to go ahead and uh, take up the 100 day pail challenge once again. And today is day three. I got the garage pretty much cleaned up. Um, I didn't record the first two days, but I'm going to start trying my very best to record uh, each one of my episodes. So and today I'm still trying to learn a new style of off body. It's a uh, pretty different uh, compared to the one that I probably have about 100,000 blows trained on. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate the first one I'm going to use. And now I'm going to train my the one I want to learn really well here in just one second. But <clears throat> the first one. I generally cover distance with my sword arm or my sword leg as I'm covering. And I use this as my setup shot. So I get to here and then I cover the distance. My shield is right here. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm literally kind of doing a slight rip and just dropping it into the off body. So this one's a little bit different. Now I have a light up here and I'm kind of paranoid. Generally I have my Pale centered in the middle, but I got it off to the side so I don't destroy my light. But uh, this one, I generally throw, I'm gonna be practicing throwing the snap, but I'm gonna be turning my hand up like this. And then I'm gonna rock at the hips at the end. And uh, keep in mind, paling, I generally train uh, very slowly. So this isn't gonna be about um, beating the pale to death. And as you notice, I have my helm on, I'm training with my shield. I do have my arm and elbow because it's really important to train with those uh, those little minor restrictions you get in the armor as opposed to just going out there and picking up your sword and doing it with no restrictions. Um, it really does matter because when you're out there on the field, you're almost having to think and relearn again because it's slightly different. So I like to always train with at least my sword arm. And when I do uh, peeling from my knees, I also, I wear my legs. So you try to get it as real as possible. So let's bang out this 100 today. What I think I'm gonna do is very similar to what I did yesterday. I'm going to be uh, doing a snap, which I transition into the off body. So I'm practicing that, should be 200 shots, but we'll see. Generally, I take a little bit of a break here and there because I'm just getting back into fighting and I'm kind of out of shape. So I push myself past the limit and then I take a break. <laughs> I can't wait till the future where I don't need to have one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of, and I'm still doing these in the stationary position. I will add movement later uh, down the line, um, somewhere probably around day 20 or 30. But right now I'm just uh, practicing the end result where my feet are in the proper position and I'm off to the side of my pail, not facing it straight on. So <laughs> let's get this started. <clears throat> one. Too. And it's going to feel a little bit weird because actually I just I just screwed up because the end result I should I should be at this angle right here. This is going to be the first one, the first the step, and then you close that distance to get in close. And that's when I'm going to practice this stuff. So what I think I'm going to do, ah, let's just add footwork today. I've been doing it stationary, and what I don't want to do is ingrain a bad habit because that's going to suck. So I'm just going to go ahead and just add the footwork right now. Uno. Dos. That one I didn't like the technique on. A little bit wonky. Four. Five. One thing I just noticed, I don't like that I'm taking a full step. <laughs> full step is dangerous. So what I need to do, re-gauge my range. Now it's working half steps way better. It's much harder to catch somebody flat footed when, they, when they're not taking full steps. Yeah, see that's way better. That's what I want to be training. That range right there. <coughs> Not liking the way the hand's not being as fluid as it needs to be. And I hit my shield. 
And if you notice, I also, that one was bad too because I was talking. But if you notice, I'm also in front of my uh, mirror so I can see what I'm doing um, instead of having to wait to go look at the stuff on the camera later. So I like to do it in front of the mirror. Now I lost my number. We'll just say seven. Okay, let me do something a little bit different. Okay, a little bit slower, I like that. I'm using the first shot as bait, second shot's kill. Doesn't mean you don't want the first shot to be good. Thing I've noticed as I'm doing this, I'm approaching literally. I, I need to, I need to break that habit. Biggest thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do the side step here, so you can get the angle on the first shot. And as I'm closing distance, I should almost be side stepping to here, where this foot is on the other side of the foot. <coughs> so it's really hap uh, important that you can recognize in the beginning where you're kind of making mistakes and fix them as early as possible. So that's what we're gonna to try to do. Side. All right, that was more like my old style. That one doesn't count. I gotta really hit that shot where it just kinda, of, it's not all here, this, this, next. It needs to be more Fluid, like that, nice and slow with my steps. Okay. Side. Wait, I'm not going to focus so much on that. I'm just going to keep it fluid. Much better. And I also need to concentrate on keeping my corner in the exact same spot and not doing this. This gets you destroyed. So that's why the mirror is awesome. I like that one. I think I'm getting a little bit too close to my opponent though. A little bit better. A little bit better. Kind of mixed in with my old stick though. It's really hard. The old style of uh, off body that I have, I, I practice it, no joke, over 100,000 times. And it's hard to try to relearn something that's similar, but there's slight differences. <laughs> so this is going to be a challenge. It's why I'm practicing this a lot. It's going to be like this for <laughs> at least 25 to 30 days of this training. This is going to be what I'm doing over and over. Nope, don't like it struck right here. I need to present the tip, not the base. Yes, but what I would really like to do is right here and here, I think you can see them. That's my armpit markers. I need to put a post on each side so I can stick it in the pit. <laughs> it's a lot easier that way, a little bit more realistic. The more realistic you can make your training, the better. That's why I'm out here and even, even my fighting tunic. <laughs> make it as real as possible. It really helps, it really does. Helps with your confidence. You know exactly what you can and can't do. You're going to be hella confident out there. Okay, I dropped my corner on that one. Okay, that was better. 
Okay. One thing I don't want to do though is kind of take the stink off of the init. I mean, it's a fake, it's still a kill shot, but I don't want to get in the habit of pulling that power to transition. I need, I need to, it's a fake, but it's an intended kill to manipulate their defense to this side so I can come in. But <laughs> there will come instances if I practice too much where I'm pulling that stink to transition into something else when I could have just had the kill right there. <laughs> Middle, too close to my opponent. Okay, that's way better. Still striking about right there. Okay, that's not so bad. This is generally, I'm not talking. I'm saying all this stuff in my head as I'm doing it. <laughs> I see a mistake, I try to fix it. Um, but I keep losing count doing this. So I'm not sure what I'm on. It's gotta be 30s or something. We'll just say three. Probably more. Three, one. Three, two. <laughs> and technically I'm doing 200 shots like this. But you know, more the better. <clears throat> ah, it's looking better. I can see that bullseye on the other side and landing it right on it. I didn't like that one. Not so bad. Really got to focus on the side step coming across this way. Just to get them, when you do that, not only are you giving him, you're giving yourself the angle, a better angle to a strike, but if you notice, if you step to this side like this, your opponent generally follows you like this, which opens up this side. <coughs> that was more linear. Start here, be linear, come to the side, come to the other side. Keep saying it to myself. Keep saying it to myself. Nope. I, lo I love this stage, guys. Eventually I'm gonna get into the rhythm. But right now I love seeing the mistakes because they're all learning experiences, all of them. All of them are learning experiences. You're just trying to fine tune your technique. Keep fine tuning that technique. Keep figuring what works for you and keep doing it. But having the ability to see where you're screwing up and stamp that out as quick as you can. Right in there, and even on the other side of that tape, that's why that tape is there. Tell me where my strike should be. That is way better. Keep the shield corner up. Always keep the corner up. They want to go for your leg, trade that shit like quickness. Much better. And if you notice, when I come in, I'm sweeping up. And my shield moves with my sword. Generally what I do is I catch the edge of their shield, right there. But it, as it catches it, my sword contacts. So it doesn't matter if they feel it and they're like, oh, and they try to resist, the sword is right there. Oh, didn't like that. Did not like that. I was turning a kill shot into a fake. That is no bueno. Fire through. Thank you. Much better. Nope, did it again. Did it again. Right. Then bring it up and around. Good. 
didn't like that one either. This back leg wasn't there. Not more like the old style. I want to bring it up high. It's kind of this thing. I don't know if I can do it with my light being in the way. But when you're doing this, you can you can redirect the power. Once it gets to the top, you just drop it back down and around. <coughs> good buddy of mine, uh, Vite Counselor Cyrus, does that a lot. He's very good at wraps. Very good at wraps. And then all of a sudden he throws this thing up and it looks like a wrap until you're getting hit in the armpit. And that's what we're training today, folks. <coughs> Except for I need to do this once it contacts and then I can turn my handle direction. Turn my hand and drive it in. It'll be much faster when I'm out there on the field. <laughs> but right now my technique's kind of hooky. So I need to practice that. I have no idea what number I'm on. I know I've thrown over 100 blows. Nope. Don't like it, I'm leaning back. <laughs> old habits, man. You, you take a couple years off, and all these old habits, they try to creep back. Leaning back is bad. It's like, what can you do from here? <laughs> you can't do squat. Someone can walk around you all day if they want to. Oh, getting tired. I did this a little bit earlier. Get some more garage cleaning, grocery shopping, and then my arms are still tired. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of six part, and then I'm probably going to call it. Okay. What am I doing? Holding my hand where my shield should be and not having a shield on it. No reason to imagine your shield's there when you can actually have your shield there. Oops. Should have done that before. <laughs> I'm getting tired <laughs> being an old and out of shape, fellas. Oh, when your arm's tired, then that second shot's crap. Yeah, I'm getting really tired. Come on. You can do it. Where was I? Come on, come on, come on. Seven more. Shit, but I'm tired. I can't wait to build that stamina back that I once had. Come on. 
Two more. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me on my A3 Reaper Challenge. There'll be more to come. I'm going to try to do this every day. Thank you so much for the inspiration.